Welcome to the Diopsis Nova ERG Vision Testing System training video. The video will introduce you to this important vision testing device and teach you proper preparation and general functionality of the Nova ERG test. If you have additional questions after watching this video, please contact your Diopsis Clinical Application Specialist. You can also review the operator's manual found on the device desktop or call Diopsis directly at the number on the screen. Before testing patients using the Diopsis Nova Vision Testing System, we will review some of the features of the device. First, you must plug the device into a dedicated, properly grounded power outlet. Next, you may adjust the height of the operator's tray to your height for comfortable viewing of the screen and ease of use of the keyboard and mouse. To turn the device on, press the black power button located just beneath the left side of the operator's tray. Once the device has successfully started and the operator's monitor is on, double-click on the Nova icon on the desktop. This will open the Nova Vision Testing Program. Begin by entering all patient information into the Diopsis Nova software for those patients who will be tested for the day. Later, as patients are brought to you for testing, you will be able to click on the patient's name and proceed directly to patient preparation and with running the test. This will help with patient flow. To save you time, it is helpful to have all testing supplies within arm's reach before bringing the patient into the testing room. Be sure to have the following items ready. Clean gauze. The tube of new prep gel. The tube of 1020 conductive paste. One disposable EEG electrode. Lid scrub pads two disposable ERG lid electrodes, and the ERG lead wires. Properly prepping the patient for the ERG test is one of three important steps in the testing procedure, since proper electrode application is crucial in achieving quality test results. Once the patient is comfortably seated, using a clean gauze pad, apply a pearl-sized amount of new prep gel onto the skin on the center of the patient's forehead with moderate pressure. Be sure to consider the size of the electrode when prepping the patient. The electrode should not come into contact with the hair on the forehead. Gently remove all remaining gel thoroughly with a dry part of the gauze. Place a pearl-sized amount of 1020 conductive paste onto the cleansed area in the center of the forehead. Snap the green lead wire to a disposable EEG electrode then place the center of the electrode directly over the conductive paste on the forehead. Adjust the lead wire so it rests behind the patient's ear. Roll a lid scrub pad to create a rounded edge. Ask the patient to tilt their head back to look up at the ceiling. Gently cleanse under the eye area of the left eye close to the lash line, rubbing with the pad for six to eight seconds. Gently, but thoroughly, dry the area with gauze. Clean under the right eye using the same steps. Then repeat the cleansing and drying process for both eyes' lower lid skin again. It is important to do this cleansing step twice to assure both eye areas are prepared for the lid electrodes. The second most important step is lid electrode placement. Once the area is cleansed, Gently place the Diopsis ERG lid electrodes on the lower skin of both the left eye and right eye as close as possible to both lash lines. Be careful not to get any lashes underneath the electrodes as this may cause the patient to blink excessively during testing. Connect the black lead wire to the lid electrode under the left eye. Connect the red lead wire to the lid electrode under the right eye a good way to remember is right is red. Plug each lead wire, the green, red, and black, into the corresponding color jack of the filter amplifier module. Adjust the lead wires so they rest gently and comfortably over the patient's ear and out of their line of sight. Instruct the patient to remove Bluetooth devices or external hearing aids if necessary. Next, make sure the patient is properly refracted for 24 inches and is placed 24 inches from the patient-facing screen. You may use best corrected distance vision and add a trial lens of plus 1.50. 
The patient should not be wearing bifocals or progressive lenses, as this can cause inaccurate recordings. Once the patient is prepped and positioned correctly, completely darken the room and begin the test. Double-click on the patient's name to get to the Select a Test screen. Under the Select Nova Test section, select the PERG FXD option and click New Test. Depending on which test the doctor has ordered, click on Concentric Fields or Contrast Sensitivity. Notice the sensor status indicator shown on the testing screen. This sensor status is a measure of the quality of the connection to the patient's head through the electrodes. The sensor has three status levels from best to worst, green, yellow, and red. If the sensor status is not green, testing is possible but strongly discouraged since the reliability of the results may be greatly affected. Click on Run Test to begin. The first prompt will instruct you to patch the patient's left eye. The easiest way to do this is to have the patient use an occluder to cover the left eye. If the use of an occluder is not practical for a particular patient, then the patient's eye may be patched by the method normally used by the practice. If trial frames are being used, an occluding lens will also work. Once the patient's left eye is covered, let the patient know there will be a red circle surrounded by black and white bars. Instruct them to look towards the red circle while keeping the bars in focus and to blink naturally. Both eyes should remain open. Select OK. This will initiate a 25-second test with a 24-degree circle stimulus. The Diopsis Nova software is able to detect excessive blinking and movement. As the test is running, these artifacts are detected and counted. In such instances where artifacts are detected, the corresponding data is collected, but not signal averaged. This feature ensures that only the relevant and accurate data of the ERG signal is processed. If excessive artifacts are detected, a warning, excessive artifacts detected, will be shown. It is recommended, but not required, that you rerun the section of the test that showed excessive artifacts. If you choose to rerun the test, first check the electrode connections and then remind the patient to relax and blink as needed and try to focus on the screen. Continue to follow the prompts on the screen after each section of the test is completed. Halfway through, the prompts will instruct you to test the other eye. Once all sections are successfully completed, you may choose to print the final report. To exit the report screen, simply click the X located within the upper right-hand corner of the window. Click on Save Results. You may now turn the lights on and gently remove the electrodes from the patient. You may need to use gauze and alcohol to remove any remaining conductive paste from the electrode located on the patient's forehead. Instruct the patient to close their eyes and then gently peel the lid electrodes off, starting at the temple, removing down and away from the patient. For more information on test preparation or running the test, contact your Diopsis Clinical Application Specialist. Review the Diopsis Nova Vision Testing System Operator's Manual or call Diopsis directly at 1-973-244-0622.